Folks, this thing's so deep. I mean, the guardian of heaven, the guardian of earth and all physical things and all the handiwork of God. I believe with all my heart that those planets out there are just a bunch of unfinished work that God was designing for man to finish as they entered into God training one-on-one. -on -one. Do you know what else that has settled then tonight? This hue and cry and controversy that has been spawned by the devil to try and bring dissension within the body of Christ that we're gods. I am a little God. Yes. Yes. I have his name. I'm one with him. I'm in covenant relation. Yeah. I am a little God. Critics, you are anything that he is. Yes. Let this mind be in you. Uh, a, a better way to say that is let this attitude be in you. Uh, let this mind, let this attitude be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So now, what mind, what attitude uh, is it that you want me to make sure that this, this same attitude is in me? What is what is this way, this of, way thinking? of thinking? What is this this? And you'll be able to move in, even into confidence that you want me to have here. Yeah. Verse six. Here it is. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Let this attitude that was in Jesus be in you. Let this way of thinking that was in Jesus be in you. Let this confidence that was in Jesus be in you. Jesus didn't think it was robbery. He didn't, he didn't think it was a dishonor. He didn't, he didn't think it was, was oh, the, you ought not think that way. No, he said, let this attitude, let this way of thinking be in you, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Now, if I'm to take what he said here and, and, and put it on, then my whole attitude now should be, I have equality with God. That's my way of thinking. Now somebody says, well, it's hard to think that way. Well, keep saying it. I have equality with God. Talk yourself into it. You've talked yourself into other things. Talk yourself into this attitude. Talk yourself into this way of thinking. Talk yourself into it until you build a confidence uh, on the inside of you that I have equality with God. Now, when the guy says, the storm's coming over, get ready, it's going to blow your house down. You go out on the porch because you have this way of thinking on the inside of you, and you say, peace, be still. You'll not cause any destruction on this property. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Then he moves on down to verse 15, and he says, why? That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. <laughs> this is God's desire that we shine as light. He said, notice, he says, we're not going to shine as lights until we change the way we think. We're not going to shine as lights until we accept our equality with God. We're not going to shine as lights until we stop thinking that being equal with God is a dishonor and a robbery. But I say it anyway. When I read in the Bible where he says, I am, I just smile and say, yes, I am too. And if God now produces man, and everything produces after its own kind, if horses get together, they produce what? And if dogs get together, they produce what? If cats get together, they produce what? But if the Godhead gets together and say, let us make man, then what are they producing? They're producing gods. When I read that scripture where God says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are higher than your ways. My ways are not your ways. From my thoughts, my ways, as the heavens are above the earth, that's how much higher they are than yours. But he's not talking to me. But he's not talking to me. We are the body of his word. We are carriers of faith. Without us, people die and go to hell. Without us being strong, Jesus is not strong. 
Christians have frank and open conversations with each other. I've done that with the Lord. I've had the Lord say, uh, Jesse, I've had God come tell me, he said, this is what I'm going to do. I've had the Lord say, what do you think about this? God has asked me for my opinion. Jesus Thanks. is not the only begotten on. Son of God. He is not. I'm a Son of he's God. He's the first fruit. You, you're the, he's the first fruit. He's the first born of many. Okay. Jesus is not the only begotten on. Son of God. Say it again. Within me is a God man. Now let's say even better than that. Let's say I am a God man. When you say I'm a Christian, you're saying I am Mashiach in the Hebrew. I'm a little Messiah walking on earth, in other words. The new creation is just like God. May I say it like this? You are a little God on earth running around. You say uh, God will not share his glory with another, and that's true, but you're not another. Right. We are members of his body. And remember, the government rests upon his shoulders, not the head. The idea that we are little gods. Uh, right. do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, that goes way back. Is, is it still going on? It is. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Jesus referred to that in John chapter 10, where he, he said, you know, God's, uh, in the context of that was Psalm, what was it? 82. Psalm 82. That uh, referring to judges. Yes. Who are representing God by making decisions for uh and uh it's clear it doesn't mean divine beings because in the context it talks about if they misjudge something they'll die you know so obviously they're not divine beings and uh, so there's no way that can be used to to elevate christians or the church to deity uh that's that's a very serious that's what the Mormon church does where, yes. you know, you know, man, as God is, as God, as man, as God once was, as God is, man may become heresy, terrible. So it goes both ways. Um, so what I see is that the same thing, honestly, is uh, in Mormonism except that you have more of the supernatural component that's attached to it within the, the word of faith or mm -hmm. uh, it's some overlap within new apostolic, but there's a lot of overlap between those two groups. Um, so you have the diminishing of God in a sense or Jesus. Um, so on the one hand, you have the emphasizing of Jesus, everything Jesus did on this earth, he did as a man, which I agree with that sentiment that he had to stand in our place he had to live within the will of god but he never ceased to be god and they say that he never ceased to be god uh -huh. but because he did them as a man that means that anything that you see jesus doing that you have the ability to do so i see it um going that way but then i also see the whole thing of the elevation of man in the sense of uh, like Kenneth Copeland, when he says, I, when I read Jesus saying, I am, I just say, I am too. Oh God have mercy. And uh, Bill God Johnson way. said, you know, um, Jesus or God says, I don't share my glory with one an with another, but we're not another because we're part of his body. Well, I, I, I don't, I would, I would want to track that down exactly what he meant by those words um you know in the old testament you have the shekinah glory filling the temple and and the church is the temple the body of temple of the holy spirit that doesn't make the, the body of christ divine it means right. his glory is among the people his presence his power its majesty but it doesn't elevate humans to to deity and i yeah, yeah, and so the, the, the sermon, if you want to Google it, um, it's when God becomes real to us. And, uh, and uh, he combines those two ideas, uh, the idea of what Christ did, and so we can do that too, and the idea of, you know, God doesn't share his glory with another, but we're not another. Like, he, he combines those two thoughts uh, on the, the train, yeah. you know, uh, what we're able to do because we are 
you know, uh, and, you know, the whole argument being that, you know, God, we were created in his, in God's image. Well, God, you know, if you have a dog that reproduces or, you know, they beget a dog. And so if God, you know, reproduces, what does he beget? You know, um, that whole kind of logic, Creflo Dollar saying Philippians 2, using that, let this mind, this attitude be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, who did not think it equality with God, uh, something to be, you know, stolen. And he's saying that's the mentality that you, you don't think that it's odd to see yourself as equal with God. I think he missed the point there, didn't he? Yeah, I, I think he missed the point there, too. Oh, Instead of being yeah. humble, he's talking about self-aggrandizement. And he even goes on to say, you know, like, well, I, that may sound weird or it may feel uncomfortable, but that, that's exactly, you got to get, you got to keep saying it and, and confessing it until it becomes a part of you and who you are, that you realize that you are a God. Shirley McLean said the same thing, didn't yeah. she? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, so I, 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 I kind of took one thing that you one thing, one, There are a number of things they talked about. You know, man, we can do everything Jesus did because he was a man, even though he's God. Jesus accepted worship. Right. Because he was God. He's right. God. One God, three persons. Where does it say we're supposed to do that? Nowhere. Peter said, get up. I'm a man like you. The angel said, get up. I'm a servant like you. Yep. And uh, Jesus forgave sins yep. uh, that only God could forgive. We can, we can, through the gospel, announce forgiveness uh, through the proclamation of the gospel because God's word says, if you receive Christ, your sins are forgiven. But we don't forgive sins. God does. 